In this video, I'm going to give you an, a quick overview of how you can make missing vowel puzzles using the puzzle generator. Now, the first thing you need to do, which you'll know if you've watched the introduction to the export tool, is to open the export tool. I already have it open down here. And then the first uh, sheets we want to look at is the config sheet here. Now, what you want to do here is if you are creating missing vowel um, puzzles or missing letter puzzles for other languages, the letters here are what the generator will remove from your words. So you can update these, change these and have more of these. It's completely up to you. Once you're happy with the letters you want to remove, going to go across to the missing vowel section here. Now how this works is in a similar way to the word search. So we have our words on our first column here and our titles in a second column. Now in advance, you need to know how many uh, words you want per title or per page. So for example, if I've got uh, 10 titles here and then I want um, 20 words per page, what I'll need to do is then have 200 words here like this. And then once you've got your words and your title sorted, go to the main sheet down the bottom and then click submit to export. Then what we're going to do is going to go into PowerPoint here and we want to have a completely blank slide. So if you do have any text boxes or placeholders on here, delete them. And then if we're on the puzzle generator tab up the top here, we're just gonna choose the trim size we want for our puzzle here. So I'm gonna stick with what I already have, which is 8.5 by 11. And then if we click puzzles, and then we click missing vowels here. Now the first screen you'll see is a game explanation or how to. This will basically just tell you how uh, to play the, the, the puzzle or the game. You can edit the text here if you want by clicking and typing in. And then if you want to include the explanation, just tick the little box here. If you don't, leave it blank and then click continue. Now our first option here is for uh, the color picker. You can choose a different color for the words and the titles. You select the one here and select the color here. Now if you're creating for KDP it's likely that you're only going to be using a black or a gray. Uh, for this example I'm going to keep uh, to the default of a black. Now the first option we have here is to choose the font for our words. So here you can select all of the fonts that you have installed in Office or that you've added to the export tool. And you can choose the size and the styling here as well. It's worth noting with the, uh, the size for both the words and the titles is that it is an estimated size. So it will do its best job to uh, stick to the size that you state, but if it can't fit your puzzles in, it may end up making that font size smaller. Our next option here is if you want to hide the titles. And then our next option is, it, here is how many rows do you want and how many columns. So as I've got um, 20, uh, 20 words per puzzle, I would either select here 20, uh, 20 rows and one column or 10 rows and two columns. You can align the words here as well, left, center, or right. If you want to sort the words in order of length, which might increase the difficulty, you can do so here. So up would mean you get the shortest words first, up to the largest words, and down would mean that you get the largest word first and then work your way down to the smallest. If you want to keep to um, the order you have in the Excel file, just click the dashes here. And now another option we have here is to 
select the uh, the case of the words. So if you click no change, it will keep the formatting of the case that you have in the Excel file. Uppercase would make it all uppercase font and lowercase all lowercase. And our final option here, which is useful if you're creating for KDP, is to add margins. Now you can choose anything between zero and one. I typically go for 0 0.75 like this. So now we've gone for all our settings. Let's click OK to create our puzzles. And there we go, we go through, we have all our puzzles, all our missing vowels. And at the end, we have our solutions or our answers. Now, what you can do is some additional uh, formatting once you have uh, created the puzzles. So what you can do is you can move them. So what you do, you just select the shape, for example, this shape here, and put in a distance and click in what direction you want it to go, like so. As you'll notice, this will then apply that for all of your puzzles as well. And a final option that you may find useful when creating this sort of puzzle is if you want to change uh, the font size or the font after you've created it, what you do, you just select the shape with the font in, for example, the title here, click change individual fonts. And here you have ability to change the font, the size, and the styling. I'm going to go, and the alignment as well. I'm going to make this a 30, and click OK. And again, this will apply to all of your puzzles all the way through. Now, I hope this quick introduction to the missing vowels uh, puzzles helps you get started. Thank you for watching.